A lot of people have been asking me what mage pairings have I been using in Season C1. Because I've been using a variety of solo marching, duo marching, triple marching, and even four mage marches all out at the same time to abuse that arcane torrent. So if you want to know how I've been doing this, I will showcase this all in all my pairings in today's video. So let's get into it. Hello guys, yes, smash like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaker, I'm here covering all dragons and it's coming towards the end of the season and you guys have been asking me what I've been doing with my mages. And I thought of this really good way of basically showcasing if I'm doing a solo pair, what it's going to look like, and then obviously a duo pair, triple pair, and quad pairings. It's obviously going to change how I'm going to be using these heroes, right? So, let's just go over the first one really easily, the solo pair. If I'm just going to send out one march on its own, what am I sending? And I'm not going to lie, every single time I've been doing this, it's been performing the best. And it is Lilia Valian. I'm not going to lie, Lilia and Valian has been the fantastic pairing that everyone kind of knows about. It just does an insane amount of damage, an insane amount of skill crit damage. And you just can't really fault that pairing, right? But now we're going to go into some more of these different um, configurations. Because once you get out of the solar pair and you're going to start bringing up two mage marches, obviously it's best to kind of separate these two heroes out. Because you kind of want to get the maximum out of them with other heroes you have, right? And one combination that straight away I am going to be falling in love with, and I think a lot of players will do too, is obviously your Valen and Waldir, or Waldir Valen. And this is what I've been rocking most of the time when I do a duo. And then with my Lilia, I've actually been rocking Indus. And this is the one which a lot of people have been probably sketched on. But this is one of my favourite matches I've actually been pairing with together. Because... All this is doing is allowing my Indies to just apply Infirm onto targets and my other three mages here, my Lilia, my Valen and my Waldia is all going to do some slap damage when it comes into hitting them, right? So it's a really good combination and we can actually explain this a little bit more, obviously showing some of the gameplay of it. So... If you bring up the gameplay, you're going to see Lilia, right? And Lilia does some fantastic damage, especially when she's expertise, because you get the chance of firing this at a target and two nearby legions, which is really good. But it obviously is diffused because it'd be OP otherwise. But it's Indus, man. Indus is really powerful. Applying that three second infirm for 20% extra damage taken to a target is no laughing matter. And this honestly allows me, when I go into a lot of my pairings, like my Valen with my Wild Deer, it's just going to allow me to do some sick damage because Valen Wild Deer is such a great combo straight away because this is 700 damage to everyone. So if you're wondering, this is a massive amount of damage. This is not diffuse. So it makes Wild Deer very, very powerful in the open field. But on top of this, because this is a freeze mechanic, as you guys know, if you did have an awakened um, Valen, you will get that trigger on your Snowblind. So it's a very great match made in heaven when it comes to it, right? So now we're going to go into triples. And the triple is really easy. And I'm going to talk about a couple of different scenarios that you can run. And the triple pairing straight away is going to involve your Bertrand. And I'm not going to lie, Bertrand has been a fantastic hero. I've loved bringing Bertrand into the open field. And you can use him in a variety of ways. If you're a spender, you would probably bring Toha. But obviously, I'm not a spender. I don't have him. That's why he's kind of there. And you know what? We'll keep him in the honorable mention for now. Um, but it's been an amazing combo. Is just being straight away Bertrand and Atheus. Again, for me, and this is for what I've been using in my triple pairing, and it does some fantastic damage when it comes into actually, you know, pumping it out. Because this is all single target DPS, and you got to think, with the Infirm, with my Indus, this is five mage heroes, and you can see they're all going to be taking advantage of that Infirm. And this is kind of what I want to do. I want to bring a support match that does a very good effect that actually, you know, puts in the work as you can imagine but then after this we're getting to the quad pairing and the quad pairing is when we start you know 
it's going to change a lot. I'm going to lie. This is going to change a lot. Because what I did when it came into a quad pairing is keep almost the fundamentals the same, right? But I had to split my Atheus up. Because by splitting Atheus up, you can actually dedicate this Atheus, and I'm going to showcase it, into a very good support build. Because you can make him into a very annoying fast pork hero that goes in and out in and out and he's normally always the first in combat meaning he should always get the generation of the rage first with the right tree and you're gonna just be pumping out damage guys i'm not gonna lie and because of that what i did was actually move now my indus over to my atheist and then as you can imagine it allowed me to play pretty much like this and it was a very comfortable situation i'm not gonna lie and if again if i had the ability to run tuha you could have ran tuha here right instead so this was a really good combination that you was able to do and if you really wanted to run fear here you could have right but i don't have access to that right i don't have access to that so i have to work with what mage marches i have and i'm going to give you my feedback on it so the way you kind of want to use these is again bertrand fear very good as your third march it's all about single target damage it's just going to try and finish out closing the kills for your other mage marches because these solar pairs and duo bears are basically it's just about you know hitting as much damage at the player as possible that's all this these four marches are about it's all it is and these other two are kind of like supportive marches that's kind of how i personally use them so when it comes into the actual game if we're gonna showcase some um you know artifacts and stuff you'll notice like my valent has my time bomb we have my phoenix eye on lilia and then what you'll notice is i have tier of arbon on bertrand and this is where like the first kind of support comes in and then the second support which a lot of people i don't think realize i've and i've been using this so much in these fights was not the homecoming beacon but the songbird feather this songbird uh, springbird feather is what i've been using so often in pvp with these mage marches because obviously this march is going to be the fastest out of them um, all getting in and out of combat hopefully getting to charge off first but it also means if any point one of my four mage marches are out of position I instantly just hit this button and I can get so much match speed. I can just literally NASCAR out of there and not get targeted. And it's amazing. It's so good that I don't think people realize how well that works. So maybe try it out and you'll be surprised. But those are the, like the four main heroes that I run. And obviously these are going to be the four deputies that followed suit, right? As you can see, I didn't use Hosk because I think Hosk personally is better suited to people like Kanara or even just infantry in general and not really much of a mage hero. Some people do like him, don't get me wrong, he's okay. But these are, again, the pairings I ran. So if you're wondering, Sneaker, what pairings have you been running? I've been watching you PvP and I've been seeing you actually been slapping. This is what I've been doing, guys. If I've been running four pairs, this is the quad pairing and then if we're going now again into the triple pairing all i would do was something like this because it was, was nice and simple and it just maximized the most amount of damage i was able to do and then if we was only going for the two march combos we were just literally getting rid of these two guys and this was my combo and i'm gonna say it while we're talking about the two pair combo here if you do have fear I'm going to suggest Fear here as well, because honestly, Fear and Lilia is a fantastic combo for the exact same reasons, right? She basically is a little bit more selfish, so what Fear is doing is shielding your march and hopefully shielding your Vela march too, if she's awakened. Give them that hero skill damage bonus, and it allows them to pump out even more damage, and obviously tank a little bit more extra damage with the shield. But it's very selfish. It's only you that's gaining those buffs, right? Compared to running a Lily and an in a, 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 a Lilia and Indis, that is gonna allow you to obviously apply that free second. Um, uh, infirm trigger every single time so that's the way we've been rocking it and then again when we're leaving into the singular march this is your way so i'll set up here if you're gonna run 
um, four marches so you guys can take a screenshot of and, and say Mr. Sneaker this is what he ran this is what I'm gonna run it's up to you again this is all from my experimentation guys give me your feedback try it out tell me what your thoughts are I've been able to generate a decent amount of merits every single time I'm coming out normally between 15,000 going all the way up to 35,000 merits easily with all of these marches surviving out until about 10 to 15 minutes and then they die right so if you enjoyed this video and have given you some inspiration, some creativity and maybe some insight on what to do, smash the like, comment and subscribe because honestly this was more of a video on, you know, my thoughts, what I've been running. There's no real sort of, you know, guide on this. People have just been asking for it. So I just thought I'd give you that answer. So with all of that, stay safe, stay sneaky guys. Peace out.